I have been on board the ship for more than six months now. My contract was originally only for four months, but due to conflicts in schedule and a few unforeseen events, I'm still here. I was supposed to sign off at our previous port in Japan, but since no reliever was available yet, it is my duty to stay on board for another voyage or until such time that I can be properly relieved. Our ship left Japan around two weeks ago and is headed towards the port of Longview in the state of Washington in the United States to load another batch of cargo. So after sailing about two weeks across the Pacific, we again have arrived at the mouth of the Columbia River. We will be picking up the pilot in about two hours, so I'm getting ready to go down to the engine room. So as per latest info, the port is actually quite congested right now. And we will be staying at Anchorage for 12 days. That is at the present information. And it is possible that we will be staying for a little bit more than two weeks. In addition, I received news from the office that they already found someone to replace me. And hopefully, it all works out and I get a sign off once our ship reaches port. To seafarers who have been working on board a ship for months, receiving word of their eventual sign-off date is always a great and happy news. The anticipation of being reunited with your family generates a lot of excitement and the feeling that once again, you are about to complete a mission and already in the home stretch for extraction. Our ship finally entered the Columbia River and headed towards Astoria Anchorage to await our turn to go alongside the cargo terminal. We were scheduled to stay for about 15 days at anchor, so everyone was just so happy to have a longer break from crossing rough seas and of course, enjoy the internet access. We were also planning to carry out some pending maintenance jobs and since we had lots of time, we weren't in any real pressure to hurry. Life was good. I even started making plans in my head because I have a lot of vacations to attend to when I get home and thankful that I would be able to make it on time. But our joy was short-lived because apparently the schedule in the cargo terminals was as fickle as the Pacific Ocean in winter. So our ship just arrived here at the port of Longview. It's along the Columbia River and just a few miles away from Kalama, our previous loading port for the past two voyages. I was actually excited for our ship to arrive here in the U.S. because I was expecting to be signed off here. We were already at anchor for a few days and based on the original schedule, we were supposed to stay there for about 10 more days. But last night, all of a sudden, an email came informing us that we were going to be going in, in a few hours' time. Normally, that's not a problem, but unfortunately, we will be staying in port for only about two days. And since our berthing schedule was drastically advanced without notice, that wouldn't give our office enough time to process the reliever because it's going to take about two days of travel from the Philippines all the way here plus the processing time of about one or two days so unfortunately I won't be able to sign off here I'm going to have to wait another 18 days or so when our ship arrives in Japan and most likely by then I'll be going home so once again, due to unfavorable circumstances, I had to stay on board. I know some of you might find that unacceptable, and I understand. I have even heard stories of a few mariners threatening the company and demanding to sign off even without reliever. Again, I understand. They might have been in a situation wherein they could no longer tolerate being on board a ship, or maybe because they have a really urgent family emergency to attend to. As for me, 
My situation on board this ship is quite okay. I have a very cooperative and reliable crew. We have a harmonious working and social environment on board, and a very approachable and supportive office management. Plus, this ship is relatively new, and it hasn't given me any major problems operation-wise. So I didn't really see any reason for me to act like a prima donna and make demands. Besides, from a very young age, back when I was in the academy, I was trained to never leave my post without being properly relieved. So as long as the conditions I am in are not subhuman or dangerous or illegal, I am pretty sure I could hold on to that principle. Our discharging port will again be somewhere in Japan, and as per calculations, we will arrive there in about three weeks. It has been a week since we left the US, and right now our ship is somewhere in the middle of the North Pacific Ocean, headed towards Japan. And today is actually the first day that I have seen the sun shining so bright since our ship left port. Oh, and coincidentally, it's my birthday today. <laughs> I just turned 40 years old today. And I'm still on board this ship. Anyway, the office and I have already agreed that I will be signing off for real this time once our ship arrives at Japan. So that's going to be about two weeks from now. That's just how it is in the maritime profession. If you choose this career path, you have to make peace with yourself that you won't be able to be physically present with your loved ones in many, many occasions. You won't be with your family during birthdays, holidays, like Christmas and New Year, anniversaries, graduation. <laughs> My two kids, they were actually born while I was working on board a ship. So definitely I missed the first day that they walked, their first word, and basically almost first everything. Yeah, I know it sucks, but after more than 20 years of this, you just kind of get used to it. Anyway, since today is my birthday, and I'll be signing off in two weeks, and it's a lovely day outside today, we're going to have a party. It's a combination of my birthday and farewell party. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Here I am, just turned 40, celebrating my birthday on board a ship away from my family, away from my loved ones. Any seafarer I know would rather spend a simple and relaxing day with their family than throw a party. But since we are in the middle of the ocean, far away from everyone and everything, we try to make the best out of the situation that we have. We try to find any diversion available any source of entertainment that we could get our hands on. And believe it or not, these simple pleasures help get us through our contracts, even if it's just one day at a time. So our ship just arrived here at the port of Kinura in Japan. So this is going to be our first discharging port here in Japan. And the ship is going to stay here for about two days. Since it's a very short stay, I won't be able to sign off from here. I'm scheduled to sign off at the next port in Hachinohe, where the ship will be staying for about four days something like that which means I got delayed again for a few more days but hey I've been here for more than seven months now so it was a few more days right and anyway you know what they say more days equals more money <laughs> thankfully we only stayed at Kinura for two days after completing our cargo operations our ship departed for our next discharging port 
in Hachinohe. Upon our arrival there, we stayed at anchor for about two days before finally going alongside the terminal. We have just arrived here at our second port in Hachinohe, Japan, and this is where I am scheduled to sign off. We haven't received the final flight details as yet, but most likely the reliever will be coming possibly tomorrow, and then I'll be signing off the day after that. I have called the office many times actually <laughs> in the past few days, and they assured me that it's already a done deal. They're just waiting for the schedule. So I guess all I have to do for now is wait but at least, finally, after almost 8 months of being on board, I'll finally be able to go home. With my impending disembarkation just a few days away, I decided it was time to pack my bags. I normally pack up a day before leaving and only when I am 100% sure that I'll be able to sign off. In my experience, the schedule can still change as long as you are still on board the ship. I also finalized my handover notes for my reliever, making sure every important detail was included. So today is our third day here in port and I have finally received the best news today. So as you can see, the office has already sent me my flight details. So the reliever is set to arrive tonight and my flight is scheduled tomorrow afternoon but I have to disembark from the vessel early morning tomorrow for customs and immigration formalities and such. So the captain has already returned my documents and I have signed pretty much almost everything I have to sign. The only thing left is for me to hand over the duties and responsibilities of chief engineer to my reliever. The only thing left for me to do is wait for the reliever to arrive in order to complete my handover. So the reliever is finally on board. Well, actually he's not my reliever because my reliever has been on board the ship for many months now. The new guy is going to replace second engineer and my second engineer is going to be promoted to chief engineer and he will be the one to Relieve me when I go home. The truth is, I've had my reliever on board with me for the past five months, and I have been mentoring him in preparation for his promotion. As soon as I saw that he was capable and ready to take on the responsibilities of chief engineer, the captain and I sent a letter of recommendation to the office, and eventually it was approved. This ship, motor vessel Belgrano, is my seventh contract as chief engineer. And so far, my time aboard the ship has been one of the most peaceful in my entire seafaring career. Sure, there were a lot of things that were lacking, particularly in terms of internet access, entertainment facilities, and good shore leave. But the harmonious working environment and camaraderie fostered by the whole crew more than made up for the things that we lacked. This has been my home for the past seven months. I have made great memories during my time here. It has treated me well. But now, it's time for me to say farewell and return to my real home. And now my watch has ended. Today is finally the day, guys. I'm going home. My flight was scheduled at 3.35 in the afternoon. But since the ship was already leaving before noon, I had to disembark at 7 in the morning. As much as I would have loved to personally say goodbye to everyone, I just had to settle for the ones that I encountered on my way down. It's a good thing that my ever trusty engine cadet was there to help me with my luggage. Apparently, it was quite a long walk from the ship all the way to the gate. So I'm here now at the Misawa airport, so this is my first flight, just a domestic flight and my plane is headed for Tokyo to Haneda airport 
which will be my international flight. Soon after, I boarded the plane headed for Tokyo. The flight took about an hour and a half, and luckily we arrived above Tokyo during the golden hour, which gave me a good bird's eye view of the city in Tokyo Bay. At the airport, I was met by another agent who assisted with my next flight, which unfortunately was scheduled at around 1.30 a.m. and it's only 7 o'clock in the evening. Okay, so my flight doesn't leave for another 6 hours. <laughs> that means I have a lot of time to kill here in the airport. I'll just sit down here for a moment, but maybe later I'll be walking around seeing what's what and have dinner and again wait <laughs> there's nothing else to do but wait and browse the internet at least there's Wi-Fi so that's quite alright during all that time waiting in the airport there was nothing else for me to do but have dinner and browse the internet to be honest six hours passed by so quickly it really is a strange phenomenon that on board a ship Time seems to move very, very slow, but as soon as your contract ends and you leave the ship, time just seems to fly by. And just like that, it was time to board my flight. Destination, Manila. Seafaring has been my profession for the past two decades. I have been assigned on board many ships and had the opportunity to visit many countries. I have experienced a lot of things that many people would never experience in their lifetime. But all of that doesn't even amount to anything when compared to the sheer joy of coming home to your loved ones. Touchdown. Now that I've found